The start of the performance is about this Umbrella Revolution leader, actually me, one year after the revolution, who picks up a yellow umbrella which leads her thinking back to the events one year earlier. This scene was created because we had to improvise this during dress rehearsal and because we weren't ready then and our performance lacked the beginning. However, after dress rehearsal, when that scene was commented on to be quite intense and charged with emotion, and thus fitting to the rest of the performance, we kept the scene till the final performance. I personally find this scene suitable as it would be weird to jump into the action filled scenes at the very start. I also enjoyed the lighting as the spotlight on me brought the audience's focus to me, and gradually increasing lighting also symbolized increasing support for me and the revolution. The next nice picture, me and a symbolic yellow umbrella created, was also quite nice. This scene did not go entirely smoothly though, as I had to improv improvise it entirely and Now the following scene was stimulated by song lyrics, uh, how we created the scene by finding songs sung or popular during the Umbrella Revolution, such as... Gun 心里我 Now in this scene, we started back to back because we feel that it would show the connection and interaction between different people involved in the revolution more. Then we started moving around randomly and one by one stopped and recited our lines. This scene is in my opinion, the best scene in the entire performance. Why? Because we created in the first lesson of preparation and thus practice it the most. I also like that although some parts were scripted, like the sequence of us talking and our speech. There were also improvisation and devising theatre elements, like our walking around in random directions. During our dress rehearsal, the audience also stated that they liked how Cantonese was used as well as singing. All these points added together to make a scene that didn't change much between the dress rehearsal and the final performance. What I think could be done better for the scene was to increase the different perspectives involved as was mainly from the point of view from protesters and policemen's opinions were only presented in short sentence. Now, an interesting piece of information is the inspiration for the scene. Basically, I was having trouble thinking of actions for this part, and I thought of diffusion from a single point, like particle diffusion in chemistry, and that's how I derived the action for that scene. The scene is basically the protesting scene, which Edison, as the police, attacks us with the pepper spray, and we stand up back to him by getting back up and singing the song. Do you hear the people sing? Oh, very badly. This scene is really important as pointed out during our dress rehearsal evaluations. We cannot only emphasize upon the violence and protests, as you will later see in scene 5 fighting umbrella scene. Therefore, after our dress rehearsal, our group decided to add a part where the protesters react peacefully, even artfully. For although we did not present any artwork and stuff that there was during the actual revolution, we did sing the song, 
which I think added special element to a performance as other groups did not have any music or singing. This helped our performance stand out from the others. Why was this song chosen though? Well, it's because it's about protests and revolution which makes it related to the theme of our performance. It was also sung by many protesters during the actual Umbrella Revolution and it's actually the only English song sung frequently by those protesters, so that is why we chose the song. Now this scene is basically a speech about the Umbrella Revolution presented by a government official and was added in the time period between the dress rehearsal and the final performance because after our dress rehearsal, we felt that our performance, even when the artistic intention was to present different perspectives of the revolution, had like 95% of the perspectives of the protesters and like 5% from the police and lacked any other perspectives. Therefore, we added decided to add the perspective of the government with the speech. We were rather nervous about the speech that was made up only days before the final performance, and much debate was put over it, but thankfully it pulled through the final cut. What I think could have been done better would have been omitted on paper when he was speaking, but though I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, and government officials do like doing speeches while reading off pieces of paper, so I guess it fits. I also like how it clearly differentiates between the student protesters, those who wear the screen form, and the government officials who wore a suit while doing the speech. I also like that the spotlight focused on him, which makes sure that the audience's attention is fully focused on him and is not distracted by the other actors like us or the props and the sidelines. So, And here is transition, and I have to say for all the transitions, I think that could have been done better instead of all of us going off stage and coming back on because that kind of disrupts the flow. Ah, this is the fighting scene, aka the umbrella scene where the true action is, and basically depicts the protesters' reactions during the intervention of the police later on in the revolution, compared to the earlier standoff version, like scene 3, the embarrassing single one, remember? The protesters here are much more violent because during the actual revolution, the protesters were getting increasingly annoyed and irritated and frustrated during this point, so... I rather like this scene as there are a lot of action and movement to really bring out the revolution side of the performance, as well as the creative usage of umbrellas. I also enjoyed the part where we fold the umbrellas one by one. Spoke lines actually quotes derived from newspaper articles we found, and threw them umbrellas in disgust on the police one by one. This is the policeman's internal monologue, and I think it's one of the most important scenes because it's a large display of opinions excluding the protesters and thus adheres to our artistic intention of presenting multiple perspectives to the audience to give them a more well-rounded view of the entire matter. This scene was added after just rehearsal as we felt that there were too few perspectives of this other than the protesters. However, like the government speech, this merely made the cut as we feared that with the lack of time it would not be fully polished. However, Edison performed well beyond the expectation, even memorizing the entire thing, and improvising and altering some parts. And this is basically the arguing scene, and this scene was added because we wanted a conclusive ending to the revolution in our performance, and thought it would be weird if the performance jumped directly from the climax to the reflections of the party involved, uh, which is the next and also the last scene. Therefore, after some research, we discovered that the reason for the ending of the revolution was due to not only intervention from the government, but also disagreements within the revolution initiators or involvers themselves. And we thought to include the second reason with the performance because we thought it would be more dramatic and thus interesting to act out. We had some problems with this scene before because we had to like make up all the stuff on the spot as a group and we found that difficult and so it took quite a lot of practice to do make this final performance. So yeah. The ending is to present a different opinions about the event. At first, we plan on creating like normal speeches, but thought it more interesting music poetry style. Here are some extracts from poems and some images that inspired them. And for years, our wills has been suppressed. And for years, 
over demands never addressed. And we want the government to give their words. And we want the people to be stirred. And we want our voice to be heard. We are police and we've done nothing wrong. All the suffering and pain like heavy chains that weighed down my soul as the different ones flames came after me ready to make can't they understand it's just our job that we did not intend for the mobs that we have families to support that to us it ain't the sports can't you understand as I walk beside the artworks of device I feel ashamed of my past compliance then I feel for myself then I place my protest on the shelf and stay silent in conclusion, I'm in the opinion that our group did quite well. Although we had a slow and rough start, we persevered and worked hard, even devoting our after school spirit and doing it. In the future, if I have to do this assignment over again, I think I would do better by using better time management and also working more in our spare time, like during lunchtime and stuff. Like, that would help make our performance go way smoother. I also think that our transitions need to be work on a lot more and but however I think overall we did quite well so I'm quite satisfied with this performance. Thanks.